Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Lion Brand Yarn, our quality show since 1878. Lionbrand.com. Zanti Ho for our very first knit along project. Hi Zanti. Hey, how are you doing? So what is the project that we're working on for this knit along? So our first project is going to be the fallen leaf scarf. Mm -hmm. And what I love about a scarf for a knit along project is that we've all probably done a scarf as one of our first knitting projects ever. And it's a great way to expand your skills because it's flat, there's no pressure, and you know, with a scarf, it's it's something that is fun, and you can have a lot of fun with when you're making. Well, and as people actually knit along with us over the next few episodes, they can try out a whole bunch of different techniques, right? Exactly, and that's why we've chosen this specific scarf. I really love it because of the color block technique, mm -hmm. where we're kind of switching colors, but also we're using a couple of different stitches. Mm -hmm. So we've done slip stitch knitting up here in the front, and also here. and also in the back, and then we've got our basket weave as well as seed stitch, and these are all really great, useful techniques that you can then translate over to other projects. Well, great, great, great way to try new things out. So tell me about the materials. So of course, whenever you start with a new project, you want to know exactly what materials you need. In this case, we've chosen these four colors of a great premium acrylic yarn, and that's a really nice beginner yarn that mm -hmm. you can feel comfortable with. And the great thing about this line is that they all match, so all of the colors are going to go beautifully together, and you can pick whatever colors you like. We've gone with, since it's fallen leaves, right. Very autumnal Autumn. kind of palette, but this would look great in blues and greens or any Definitely. other palette you like. Definitely. And we've gone with uh, size 8 needles, mm -hmm. and so we've got all those ready out on the table. And then I've also got a couple of extra things that aren't stated in the pattern, but I find really useful. One is a measuring tape, mm -hmm. so that you can keep track of how far you are in your pattern. Um, another thing I really like, especially if you're learning a new skill, is stitch markers, so mm -hmm. that you can kind of break up your pattern into easier little bits. And also sticky notes. And I use sticky notes all over the pattern, not only to take notes, but also to keep me in the right line of the pattern. Because what you're going to find is that we've got three different stitch patterns. And as you're following along and you want to know exactly where you are in that pattern, having a sticky note, ripping one off, and actually putting it on mm -hmm. your pattern makes it much simpler. Great, great easy way to see. So before you actually start knitting, you probably want to swatch first. Right? Yeah, I think that that's a really good way to start. First of all, it helps you if you're worried about gauge, which is not as important on a scarf, mm -hmm. but gauge is going to give you the right size item based on practice. your pattern. And it is good practice. So I like practice swatching in general, and here I've just used a couple of different uh, extra yarns that I had lying around, and um, I've gone ahead and practice the different patterns in here because, say, I'm not so comfortable, this is actually an intermediate pattern, so if I'm not so comfortable with some of the very basic skills, mm -hmm. like the seed stitch and the basket weave, I might want to actually practice those first. And you do want to use the same yarn, probably. Yes, yes. Yeah. So these are the same yarns as the scarf, but in different colors. So okay. just my extra scraps. Okay, great. And this is the pattern, which is mm -hmm. going to be on the website for mm -hmm. everybody who wants to follow along with us. Yes. And let's cast on. Great. So we're going to take out our needles and the pattern sits, states uh, 33 stitches and we're casting on with this great yellow color. So let's find our end. And you can go from the outside of the ball to the inside of the yeah, ball. Yeah, right? it doesn't really matter so yeah. much. I mean, I think some people prefer the inside because it keeps it neat, but I actually find if you put it into a holder, mm -hmm. which I like to do, it really makes it simpler. So we're just going to go ahead and cast on for this great project. Okay. So we're going to cast on, and then next time we'll be actually diving into the slip stitch. Thanks, Auntie. Great. And thank you for watching. Join us next time as Knitting Daily features finishing touches to your knit and crochet projects. And remember, make time for yarn every day. Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Lion Brand Yarn, our quality shows since 1878. LionBrand.com